So uh, the question therefore is what is haram between couples to do? With regards to what is forbidden in the Sharia, two things are explicitly forbidden. Two things are f forbidden directly in the text of the Quran and Sunnah. Uh, and the first of these is uh, anal intercourse. This is something that is absolutely forbidden without a doubt. Allah says in the Quran, Nisa'ukum harthul lakum fa'tu harthakum anna shi'tum. Your women are, your wives are like a cultivation or like a field unto you and therefore approach your wives however you wish to approach them. Now, the fact that Allah mentions a cultivation, our scholars have derived, in fact, even the tabi'un have derived that the meaning therefore is that the cultivation occurs obviously uh, from the vagina, it doesn't occur uh, from uh, the other organ. As for the ahadith, there are numerous ahadith reported by over seven sahaba with over you know 10 different chains of them is the hadith in Abu Dawood that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever uh, comes to his wife while she is menstruating, that's the second prohibition, we'll talk about that, or uh, from her back, meaning from uh, her anus, from her back, uh, has disbelieved in what has been revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam. The second, uh, that is completely forbidden as well, uh, but to a lesser degree, but it is still haram. Both of them are haram, but there's degrees of haram. And the uh, the second thing that is haram or sinful is to engage in intercourse uh, during the period of the menses. That during that time frame, vaginal intercourse is not allowed. The Quran says, الْمَحِيلُ They ask you about the menses. قُلْ هُوَ أَذَن Say, it is something that is an irritation. So, فَاعْتَزِلُوا النِّسَاءَ فِي الْمَحِيلِ وَلَا تَقْرَبُوهُنَّ حَتَّى يَطْهُرْنَ فَإِذَا تَطَهَّرْنَ فَأْتُهُنَّ مِنْ حَيْثُ أَمَرَكُمُ اللَّهِ So, avoid approaching women during the time of their menses and do not come close to them until they purify themselves, right? وَلَا تَقْرَبُوهُنَّ حَتَّى يَطْهُرْنَ فَإِذَا تَطَهَّرْنَ Once they have done the ghusl, then you may approach them from where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed you. Uh, in another uh, hadith uh, in Sahih Bukhari, uh, a man came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he asked that, O oh, Messenger of Allah, you know, what is permissible for me and my wife when she's in her menses? He literally asked the question, what is halal? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said uh, that you may do everything other than intercourse. Isna'u kulla shay'in illa nikah. Everything is permissible kissing and fondling and stimulation with the hands and with the other body parts, all of this is permissible. Uh, and uh, anything that the two want to do, they want to play around between themselves with it is permissible. 